Hey friends, as you all know, we just recently moved into our house that we've been remodeling and you can see it is very much a mess. Now I will say I did post my Christmas vlog so you've seen the house partially decorated at least and a lot better condition than this but I kind of wanted to start from the beginning and take you all with me. So this was like day number one. We had slept here the night before and it was still in kind of a state of construction because electricians were still working and things were still kind of happening as we had to move in. So I'm working on cleaning and this kind of happened in stages. I wanted to share this part of it and then also just some things we were doing to kind of get the house a bit more livable, decorating, things like that. I will try and kind of go more maybe room by room and also share some vlogs from here on out. If you're new, my name is Lynette. Welcome, I'd love to have you subscribe. And yeah, I have a lot of good, fun content coming for you guys. Uh, organizing, maybe decorating some rooms, just, I don't know, daily life. And so this is kind of where I'm starting. And if you are new and you don't know what this house looked like before, go and check out my playlist. Um, there's several videos I did of, you know, how it looked before. There's a before house tour and everything. We definitely did a lot of work to the main area, put in a new kitchen, tore down some walls. Um, we did new flooring throughout, except for the bathrooms. The bathrooms still need renovating at some point. So I thought I'd bring you along. Hope you enjoy it. If you're wondering why I'm in the dark here, it's because the lights are still not working. Uh, the electrician has to come back, but probably not until Monday. Today is Friday night. He couldn't finish everything today, and they've been working at it for, yeah, a while. So there's still definitely some loose ends. So it's kind of dark in this area, but it's okay. So let me just say, uh, looking back here, I was furiously trying to get the house put together because we wanted to host our Christmas here at our house with my family. Um, the house that my parents own with my grandparents is just, it's a little small, especially if you want to like all get in there. And so that was kind of the goal. So we had like a little over a week to get things put together and it was obviously not all put together, but it is. It was great and we were able to host like we hosted people multiple times and while it's far from done it was definitely livable but that was kind of something that kind of kept me going and I remember this night especially I was just so tired by the end of the night um, it, it was just it's a lot of work and I was very thankful for my grandma and my mom and stuff to help with um, the girls and Harper especially uh, it's just it was a lot of work coming into just a remodeling project and moving and everything. I, I knew it was coming, but it was definitely, I kind of still was a little unprepared for it. So I think that looking back, <laughs> when we moved this spring into the rental, I think moving at nine months pregnant was easier than moving this time around. So <laughs> I didn't necessarily expect it, but I think with the thing of going back and forth for so long with house remodeling and everything, and then packing up and trying to move into here and just all of that. It was definitely a lot more than I guess what I probably bargained for. But we got it done and we are just loving being in here. So yeah, 
if you are in this this season of your life, hang in there and just do the best you can. And everyone's personalities are different and, you know, your goals are different and all of that. I'm the type that I don't like to sit down if there's stuff to be done. I have a hard time just like sitting down. I can't relax. <laughs> and so that kind of keeps me going. But um, it's just, it's, it's kind of my personality. I like to get my stuff done and then I can relax once it's done, you know. looking at me mopping those front doors a little bit. Uh, we are getting new front doors, but they are just not here yet. I'm not sure when they're gonna be done, but the door situation is a problem. Uh, it seems like stuff is still back ordered and everything. But anyway, I am mopping this area here and I'm using the Ocedar mop and mop bucket. I'll explain in just a little bit. It's a different, it's like a newer system. So I'll show you all in a little bit then. So the floors are a luxury vinyl plank there by the brand Cortec and the color is Calypso Oak. Not that you can tell in this particular clip, but we really liked them while we lived at the rental we were at. We had these same floors in there and so we got them for here and we do love them. However, we failed to put paper down or the contractor failed to put paper down after the floors were installed. Uh, and so we still had, you know, kitchen to install, there's electrician dust, there's just all kinds of stuff that was going on afterward. And I didn't give it much thought, but you guys, I have been scrubbing and scrubbing and scrubbing. There's like spots, There's, it's not like all over, but there's just stuff that is stuck to the surface. And I found this scrubbing daddy stuff with the paste is doing a decent job, it gets off some of it, but I also ordered some cleaner from Cortec itself to see if that'll help. The floors are more of like a matte finish, so I don't know, I am gonna be working at these for a long time, I'm afraid, so just be warned that put paper down if you're working after you install them. I'm trying out a new mop system from Ocedar. This, I couldn't figure it out for a little bit, but it's to keep the dirty water separate from the clean water. But at first I was like, well, why is it not, like it, it just didn't last long if I put it in there, you know? Well, this thing adjusts your water flow. So you put water in here along with your cleaner and then there's a spout at the bottom that fills it, keeps like filling it up. So it's a little, maybe not quite as easy as the other one, but it is probably more sanitary, you know, cause you're not dipping back into the yuck water. So yeah, they do still sell the original one though.
So I plan to put up a kitchen organization and tour, I think probably next or at least one of the next videos. So stay tuned for that. You can see how I've organized it. Something about cleaning at night when the kids are in bed and stuff is all quiet is just very, I don't know, satisfying and relaxing, I feel like, most nights anyway, if I'm not too tired. And it felt very good to have it done. Uh, I think if I remember right, I was ready to kind of put things in the kitchen the next morning, so I wanted to get everything clean and ready to go for that. So. The next portion of the video is kind of some projects we were doing, just a few things. I didn't film everything because stuff gets a little chaotic at times, but we um, wanted to hang our Samsung frame TV and we put this whole um, fireplace in, like we built this new one Nick did. And so in this wall, behind the drywall, there's like a, well he just nailed a piece of drywall to it, but he built a box inside the wall to hang the little um, box that the Samsung frame is attached to because it sits flush against the wall. So you have to have room to like go with the little cord and you know put the box. So he just hid it behind the TV, which was great. But um, yeah, we were trying to get this hung and he also installed the fireplace, which is a touchstone fireplace. And I will try to have both of this stuff linked below. I also got a new rug from Laloy. They had sent me this one, and it is from the Angela Rose collection. I think, I don't remember which one. I think it's the Jade. It has Jade in the title, but I'll try to link this one below too. It is a, I think, 8 foot 6 inches by 11 something, and I was planning to use it either here in the dining room or in our bedroom, and I think it works great in the dining room helps to dull a little bit of the noise, but yeah, I really, really like it. It's it's very pretty and it's very durable. It'll hide dirt and things like that. So it kind of has a bit of a jute feeling if you're looking for something. Uh, so it's not maybe as soft as some of the Laloy rugs, but this one looks to be very durable and I had had my eye on, on that new collection. So I'm very thankful they were willing to send that to me. But um, yeah, we, Got that put in place and also decorated a little bit for Christmas, things like that, as you saw in the vlog before this. So just trying to kind of catch you up to speed on where we're at. And I'm still working on a lot of things. Uh, we're taking our Christmas stuff down now as as I speak. I'm getting ready to take our tree down and stuff, but we wanted to have it up for at least a couple weeks. This is our final This is the uh, article caliper shelf and I had shown it I think in the other video as well but if you're wondering about it that is the name of it and you can still buy it on their website and I'm very happy to use it. I'd use it at, at our flip house we did and wasn't able to use it anywhere else so I was like this would be a perfect place. I need something to like tangibly decorate 
and I didn't have too many other places beside the shelves in the kitchen. So I'm still working on a lot of stuff as far as decor, but it's been so much fun. But this is going to bring me to the end of the video, and I hope you enjoyed it. I know it wasn't the longest, but for those of you who enjoy cleaning and stuff like that, this is just a little bit of it. So stay tuned for more, and thank you all so much for watching, and I appreciate it very much. I will see you all next time. Bye! Yeah. Take off.